What's going down, good people? Welcome back to the station. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Ray G. And I'm excited to dive into this Tony Pollard tape with you all tonight because there is so much hype and enthusiasm around Tony Pollard as the now lead rusher of the Dallas Cowboys with the departure of Ezekiel Elliott that some people in the fantasy football community think he could finish the 2023 season as the top-rated running back in football, RB1 for Tony Pollard. So in this film breakdown, we're going to look at the pros, everything that he brings to the table. What type of runner is Tony Pollard? Let's look at the skill set. Can he handle an uptick in volume with his explosiveness? We're going to dive into all of that. So if this is your first time checking out content here, appreciate you being here. If you stick around to the end, you find the content actionable or entertaining, all I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button, like the content, subscribe to the channel for more. But we got to get into Tony Pollard. Let's get to it right after the intro. All right, let's dive right in with the game versus the Minnesota Vikings. So I wanted to look at one of the games where Tony Pollard smashed. He did it on the ground, through the air. Can he do this on a consistent basis, week in and week out, as the main guy for the Dallas Cowboys? Let's take a look. So right here, you just look at the formation, right? So you got you, you got this formation where you've got two tight ends, kind of a one offline Dalton Schultz right there, C.D. Lamb, and you got Michael Gallup at the top. This is a running this is a running formation. You got Ferguson and Schultz down at the bottom. And what I want you to pay attention to more so than the defensive alignment, what the O line is doing. It's Tony Pollard, the feet, the vision, and the explosiveness. And what I'll do is not stop it. I'll let the first play run through. So here we go. Watch this right here. Nice little handoff. He stops his feet, shuffles, slows down, finds the hole, and then explodes to pick up additional yards. This is something that Cowboys fans have not seen from Ezekiel Elliott in a very long time. Tony Pollard's ability to just recognize lanes, to, to continue his lane integrity, his gap integrity when he's running, eye discipline, it's evident all over the film. So right here, first and foremost, this is blocked pretty well. Looks like you've got a little duo combination right here going on. This is blocked very well by Biotish. You've got Jake Ferguson uh, helping on Daniil Hunter, and you see him already peeling off to go uh, help with the additional secondary defender dropping down into the box. Tony Pollard's got the ball, and right now he knows, and this is just so subtle but so just beautiful to watch play out. At this point right here, it looks like to the untrained eye. I mean, there's the hole, TP. Just hit it and go, right? But Kendricks is scraping to fill that side of the hole right there. So what Pollard has to do is understand that he's got a cutback lane on the backside. He could press this hole if Kendricks overpursued, but he did none of that, right? He played it out. He was patient and watched what happens. Kendrick goes there, scrapes, fills the hole. Tony Pollard puts that foot in the ground, and he knows I'm going to have to make a play on this backside. And when he does that, even here— Using that offhand, right, to move the defender out of the way while still protecting the ball, you've got an offensive line that's doing a good job. you got a hat on a hat here, hat on a hat there. So Tony Pollard's going to identify there's the lane. Once you see it, you got to hit it, right? Does he do that? Once he identifies, I've got no spot there, 98's filling, boom, hit the hole and explode through. This is what he's going to be able to bring to the table on a consistent basis. One more time. Watch it all the way through, right? Nothing there. Slow play it. Use that offhand. And then get north and south. This was, honestly, of all the runs that I went through and I watched Tony Pollard, some of them will go for touchdowns, longer gangs. There's some pretty sweet plays. This has to be up there as one of the one of the ones that translates because people aren't going to rip off 60, 70, 90-yard touchdown runs consistently. But things like this, I discipline understanding the gaps, understanding your blocking assignments, and then having the confidence to hit the hole with speed and acceleration is phenomenal. And what's dope about this is these are two back-to-back plays. So he just explodes for a big gain. And then we've got another formation right here with Tony Pollard, single set running back. They're motioning the Peyton Hendershot, the, the, the backup tight end. And here we go, right? Tony Pollard's nothing there. He's got to be able to make a play And he has the explosiveness, the patience, the discipline to not get rattled, to just kind of trust his God-given ability and natural instincts to roll off of this block right here, right? Roll off of that, keep your balance, and then get your head around. Once you make contact right there, he's not looking to keep backing up. I mean, he is already, at this point, head around, 
assessing the situation, and then let's go. It's just a phenomenal job by Tony Pollard. These were back-to-back plays uh, in the in the flow of the game. So in two plays, he's gotten you damn near 40 yards on the ground. That's just the explosiveness that Dallas has been missing. And these are the type of plays that if you're playing in fantasy football, these chunk plays, even if he doesn't carry the ball 20, 25 times a game, these type of chunk plays, Tony Pollard can and did deliver these on a consistent basis for Dallas. And I'm pretty damn excited to see what he can do with that confidence as being the guy going into the season here in 2023. So we'll see a little bit more from Pollard. And I mean, this play, the footwork is insane. Let's 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 watch this. I mean, you'll you'll see it, and it happens so quickly. It's so subtle, so fast, dragging some defenders right there, playing with a little bit of power. You got to like that from Tony Pollard. Let me move myself out of the way so you can really see this right here and see the feet. Watch how he delays this right there. Just that little, it doesn't look like anything much, right? doesn't look like anything. But let's slow this down and watch what would happen if he did not take that little false step right there. It looks like there is a gaping hole right here. That looks like there is a lane to be had. That if Tony Power just puts his foot in the ground, he's off to the races and good luck to the safety tackling him. But what you can't see right there is you've got the center manned up right there. You've got Zach Martin coming to get that linebacker, but the linebacker's flowing to that hole. If Tony Power puts his foot in the ground right now, He's met. Yeah, Zach Martin's got a hand on him right there, but his outside arm is free. He's got the leverage. So this really isn't a hole. Could Pollard have hit that and maybe broken the tackle? Sure. But what's he do? He slows his pace down. He's under control. Look at the feet. Identifies that tiny lane right there where Zach Martin, trusting his blocks, has he's pushing him this way. Biotis is holding up. There's the lane for Tony Pollard. There it is. And now he's through it and gone just that quickly. I'm going to run this back. Just watch how quickly this happens. This little hesitation step right there. Freed him up. Now he's downfield. Yeah, he could have cut up right there. But come on, man. Just a phenomenal run by Pollard. Again, when I saw this, I rewound it a couple of times. Like, look at that step right there. Just enough to be – I mean, Zach Martin is pushing this guy into that hole. So Tony Pollard's vision – his patience, his understanding of his offensive line's assignments. Just incredible job by TP right there. Really impressive run. Really impressive run. All right, and then when you get him in space, this is the type of stuff that happens, right? Just the pass right there, just kind of a little outlet check out, and there he is. And I know Patrick Peterson is well past his prime, but he could still run. Look at the angle that, that Tony Pollard eats up. I mean, he went too flat. Peterson knew it right away. He went too flat. His mark was too flat. And now, you know, if he's even, he's leaving. There he is. Touchdown. No hand on him. Tony Pollard in the receiving game. Brian Schottenheimer, new offensive coordinator, really hoping he continues to use Tony Pollard in a receiving type role. Give him an up- uptick in this volume. Right now, behind Tony Pollard, you've got unproven Malik Davis and you've got journeyman Ronald Jones. Both of those guys are capable of handling a grinder role where you just turn around, hand it to him, and let him slam it up the gut. Use Tony Pollard in space because this is what he does. This is the type of pressure that he puts on defenses. You got man-to-man coverage right here with Patrick Peterson on whomever that is. No clue who that is. You're manned up up top. I know you can't see it, but there's a defensive back right there. You're here. You got CeeDee Lamb. You've got this linebacker watching. So it's this guy's job to contain Tony Pollard. And I'm telling you right now, Unless that linebacker is Luke Keekley or or somebody like that, this is not a winning formula or strategy to have a linebacker manned up on Tony Pollard. And Tony Pollard actually had an option right here. He had the option to run an in-breaking route or, if he was isolated on a linebacker, to take it over the top, right? Because what's going to happen is Pat P is cleared out. This is cleared out. This play is designed to get him on one-on-one, a one-on-one spot. You got this linebacker focused in on C.D. Lamb, as we talked about, and Tony Pollard realizes, "Uh uh-oh, he's gone. I've got nothing but green grass in front of me. No reason to break in. I'm just going to go around him. And he does that successfully. Dak Prescott lays it right in there. And again, not a hand on him. Easy touchdown for Tony Pollard. 
Put him in these situations. You want to know how Tony Pollard finishes as the top running back in fantasy football in 2023? It's putting him in those situations like this, isolated against a linebacker, letting him utilize. Damn, he played he, he played some receiver in college. Let him do some of the things that he did well in college. Now, versus the Chicago Bears, you see a little more uh, diversity in his running game. You see the explosiveness, but this is where you really get to see a little bit of the footwork shine. Right here, goal line situations, I mean, just nasty right there. Just an absolute disgusting cut right here. Got everybody blocked up, but it's his job. He's got to make somebody miss. I believe that's Eddie Jackson. Fakes him out in that hole. He thinks he's going to press there. He puts his foot in the dirt, and there goes the wall right there. There's the wall for Tony Pollard, and there is six showing some power to go through Roquan Smith right there, and you'll really see it from this angle right here. You'll see Eddie Jackson is about where I am. And there it looks like. It looks like I'm going to meet him in the alley. If you played football, you know that that drill. Meet me in the alley, right? Looks like it's going to be a head-on collision. Eddie Jackson's thinking, I'm doing my job. I'm filling. There's the hole. I've identified the gap. I'm going to fill. He goes to fill. Tony Pollard is just so fast that in one movement, he's got two defenders frozen. I mean, Jackson and Smith are Basically, he's tripping over one another. Jackson can't get to him. Smith puts his diving shoes on, and Tony Pollard just takes him into the end zone. So, again, just the, the quick reaction, the feet, the eye discipline of Pollard, this is what you want him to do. If you're going to run him up the middle, it's got to be – I mean, that is just so sudden. Such good reaction time. The footwork is phenomenal. You've got an ascending young uh, offensive lineman in Tyler Smith who was a first-round pick last year. Look at them working in unison. You got the duo block right there, taking care of the interior defensive tackle. You got your guard right here on a guy. You've got a lead blocker and your fullback. You need your star, Tony Pollard, to make a play. And he did that against two of the better defenders in the NFL. What, well, the highest paid Mike linebacker in Roquan and a damn good safety in Eddie Jackson right there. Tony Pollard made both of them look silly. So you're going to see even more of that lateral quickness and agility on this run right here. I mean, just the stop, go, this is how he does it. You want to know how Tony Pollard ascends the top-rated running back. It's explosive plays like these. It's not taking those big blows. There you go. Everyone's zoned. It looks like everyone just pushing everybody, zone blocking, right? Just direction, it's on you to identify the cutback lane and hit the hole. And Tony Pollard doesn't just do that because it looks like at that moment, if I freeze-framed it right now, I bet you 90% of people said he goes like this, right? Because that's the natural flow of what he's doing. But in one step, he goes from there to using that right leg, planning it, and then getting north and south. That's just elite-level quickness. And then another move in the open field against Eddie Jackson right there and the acceleration and speed to take it to the house. Just watch it one more time. It's beautiful. It's beautiful rushing. It's poetry from the offensive line. Zach Martin clearing out Roquan Smith. Just a phenomenal job. And the Dallas Cowboys are once again going to have a pretty damn good offensive line this year. They get Terrence Steele back. Tyron Smith is healthy. They've got Tyler Smith. This is going to be a good offensive line. So if they can continue to pave holes like this, clear it out, let Tony Pollard do his thing, it's going to be a fun offense to watch, and Tony Pollard is going to smash so here we go. No Dak Prescott, but the footwork is still the same. You saw it at the beginning of the play. That quick just step, his identification of defenders and his reaction time is just incredible. Boom, right there, and then you get skinny through the hole. Right, get skinny through the hole, protect yourself. It's a good Rams defense. You got Aaron Donald, Bobby Wagner, Jalen Ramsey was here. This is not the 2023 Rams defense. And they ran it right to Donald's side, kicked him out of the way, took care of... Uh, Bobby Wagner right there, Tony Parr protect the ball, and pick up yards. Fantastic run. It's not going to be big explosive plays every single time, but if you can consistently do some of those things, pretty bullish on what Tony Parr could do in 23. Again, running formation, you only got one receiver out there. You got three tight ends. You got to make a play. You've got to make a play, and you see the quickness. Boom, boom, get north and south. The, the home run plays are fun, y'all. We're going to watch a couple of those. But this is the stuff, right? As soon as he gets it, he knows there's nothing there. Look at that. There is nothing there for Tony Pollard. So he's got to use his speed to get outside. But don't just push to the outside. 
understand that there's leverage out here. Get your foot in the ground and go north and south. It's one of the things that I like to identify when looking at it. Don't play around. No wasted movement. Go. And there he is right there. And because of that, puts his, puts his team down the field. Boom, right there. Phenomenal run. Dragging Bobby Wagner a couple of yards, right? Flag on the play. Don't know if it came back, but we're looking at the skill set of Tony Pollard. And then when he puts it all together, when he puts it all together and then he has that opening, good things like this happen. Good things like this happen. When you gash him enough, when you continue to make right decisions, when you press the gap, when you force defenders to remain uh, uh, gap integrity on defense and they're thinking, man, we, we, we've got to be sound. Boom, there he goes. Look, scared. Safety's waiting on him. Safety's inviting the contact you've already lost. You're playing back there, and you want to sit and wait right here, just feet in the ground. You're done, right? Missed the tackle, and then he's off to the races. So these type of plays, cuts, cuts, death by a thousand cuts. Tony Pollard, phenomenal at that. And then you see versus the Colts, just a, a, a simple toss. You get your big horse outside, that left tackle, Tyler Smith, clearing away. C.D. Lamb, very underrated blocker as a wide receiver. He's one of the best receivers in the game. Underrated blocker. Tyler Smith clearing out the way. Tyler Biotis down the field. There's Smith pushing pushing a defensive back, leading his running back to the end zone. And Tony Pollard with the explosiveness, right? Patience, follow, patience. Now turn it on, TP. Turn it on. Weave it back in. Touchdown. Smooth runner. This is Tony Pollard. This is what we're excited about. Opposite side of the field. We can do it either way. However you want it. Stephon Gilmore, we're happy you're here. But you can't take that angle. You can't shoot gaps like that when you've got outside contain because Tony Pollard is going to beat you to the edge. He's got the explosiveness to where you as a defender cannot do what Gilmore just did. If you do that, you will be gashed. Tony Pollard will make you pay 10 out of 10 times. If you're not playing disciplined football, Stephon Gilmore thinks he can shoot the gap. Get Tony Pollard too fast, too explosive. Now he's down the field. Running down the sideline, and one of the little things that I notice about Tony Pollard when watching the tape, he's got no problem going out of bounds. Some running backs at that point, they want to dip a shoulder, hit a defender. Tony Pollard's going to save his body. He's got no problem going out of bounds. If he needs to put the shoulder down, he will, but he'll get out of bounds. And right here, again, you shoot the gap, mistake by Gilmore. You can't do that. He's already out leveraged you, but this is an easy run. It's just explosiveness. Good balance, pick up the first down. Get out of bounds, more yards, and protect your body. And let's run it back again. Let's do it again. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Tyler Smith out there, kick out. Here you go. I think that's Noah Brown. C.D. Lamb locked up in here. And again, you give Tony Pollard that type of lane, he's going to hit it and he's going to make you pay. And it's going to happen quickly because he is so explosive. Another gaping, gashing play, and he doesn't take a, he doesn't take a big blow there, right? Going towards out of bounds, protecting his body, picking up what's there. Boom, turn the Jets on, Tony. There we go, dragging him down. A little scary every time those, 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 those offensive players get dragged down like that. But this is the case for Tony Pollard. The speed, the explosiveness, the patience. The situation is damn good, too, with this Dallas offensive line. And again, getting back Terrence Steele, getting back and healthy Tyron Smith. I truly believe that in 2023... The path to Tony Pollard finishing as the RB1 in fantasy football is very much real, very much in play, and I'm excited because this young man can ball, and it should be lift off in 2023. So I appreciate you tapping in for about 20 minutes for this film breakdown on Dallas Cowboys running back Tony Pollard. I've got James Cook film coming later this week, so if you stayed around, if you enjoyed it, if you liked it, Hit the thumbs up button, like the content, subscribe to the channel for more, and stay locked in. We got more at Destination Devi coming soon. I appreciate you being here. Until next time, I'm out. Peace.